the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so in the last lecture we saw about the blockchain fork what is a soft fork hard fork backward compatible um, and you know how the mining is done the nouns and how the algorithm on the powerful hardware and the algorithm is there right so in this lecture what we will be seeing is what are all the different kinds of consensus the technologies used in the blockchain okay there are many different consensus like the proof of work proof of stake proof of elapsed time proof of capacity proof of activity and stuff of that nature uh, so the bitcoin is being done by the proof of work and right now as of today which is september 15th ethereum has actually moved to proof of stake so in this lecture we'll be seeing all those technologies more in detail and the differences between them as well okay i'm really really excited let's take a deep dive hey friends so in today's lecture we'll be seeing the following but before going to today's lecture what did we learn previously the proof of work proof of stake and why the proof of work is very expensive and uh, the electricity consumption and what are all the different types of consensus so other than the proof of work and proof of stake we also saw byzantine fault tolerance like coins like algorand is actually using it so in today's lecture what we'll be seeing is a continuation of the consensus so as i told you it will not be done in one lecture probably two or three so today we are going to be seeing what is a proof of stake how it works and what is the difference between the proof of work and proof of stake and you know like always you know you can you know you know where to actually contact me and let's actually get you know get into the deep dive now say suppose there is a new casino game okay and uh, you know it's a hand of honesty right and everything costs like you know ten thousand dollars to join because you put a stake and every honest player will win like you know twenty five dollars for being honest okay whoever says like you know that this person is right and stuff of that nature the winning player gets to keep the twenty five dollars and also their earnings now every dishonest players not only will lose the reward but also the entire stake of ten thousand dollars <throat> So basically, there is a little incentive for being honest, but if you're dishonest, it is totally going to cost you. Okay, so this can actually happen in in every application. So the blocks of transactions are created, and you know we all know who wish to participate. They lock up the funds in the stake. A random player is selected. That is what I told you. Here, there is no hardware. There is no nouns. There is nothing of that nature. And that player's block data is shown to all of the participants. And other players take on the validity of the block transactions, similar to what we actually discussed. If the majority of the player, because as I told you, blockchain is all about consensus and the majority. If they actually agree with the proposed block, that random player is rewarded. and they get to win that award otherwise they lose their stake then a new player is randomly selected to share their block data no computing is ever performed okay during consensus only staking and wagering so this is why it makes it very cheap some argue that it can also lead to centralization as only persons who can actually afford to stake are able to participate now say suppose when i say we have this open consensus but you need to have like you know 10000 dollars or 20000 dollars to participate hey that's bad because how many persons can actually afford the 10000 or 20000 dollars because even i want to participate but what if i don't have the money so that is why it only leads to a, a elite group of people who have that money so that is like centralization now a proof of work is is basically a work for the reward so you work and you show the proof there is a reward here you make a safe bet there is security in the proof of work there is speed in the proof of stake it is centralization versus decentralization proof of work is proven the bitcoin ethereum of the world is proven and this is a new concept the capital in the proof of work is spent on the hardware like it can go to hundreds and thousands of dollars or lakhs of rupees or whichever country you are that denomination here 
it has been spent on the staking. So the, you know we always have we can justify right. And as I told you, Ethereum is actually moving to proof of stake. I trust I made this lecture crisp, probably clear and interesting. If you have any questions, you know where to contact me. Till we meet next, take care, have fun, and happy learning. Namaste, friends. I trust you have actually seen my lecture. Probably, you know, you have actually understood what a proof of work is and how the reward has been made, uh, you know, and what is the power consumption and what is a proof of stake and stuff of that nature. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know whom to contact. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me your golden time. The other is my wife, Jayashree, for allowing me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time, uh, you know, take care. Cheers. This is President. Thank <laughs> you.